former daycare employee in Claremont County is now charged with child endangerment. She says she's not guilty. That's right. The Nine on Your Side I team first told you a few weeks ago, though, that prosecutors were considering filing charges against the caregiver at the Rainbow Child Care Center in Amelia. I team reporter Hillary Lake is here now to explain some new information she's learned about this case. We first told you earlier this month about an investigation report from Ohio's Department of Jobs and Family Services. It says a worker at the Rainbow Child Care in Amelia used cruel, harsh, unusual or extreme techniques on a child. Now that worker must face the justice system. Ohio Laura An attorney for Laura Macias entered a not guilty plea on her behalf Wednesday morning in Claremont County Municipal Court. Council, um, entering a plea today? Yes, Your Honor, we'd enter a not guilty plea. A Pierce Township police report obtained by the Nine on Your Side I team shows Macias admitted to a children's services investigator, quote, she did grab the child up in an inappropriate manner that was against protocol. Macias was fired from Rainbow Child Care in Amelia in May. The police report says Jessica Wilson filed it accusing Macias of causing bruising and red marks on her five-year-old son's arm and neck. It also says surveillance video from inside the daycare shows a teacher identified as Macias grabbing a boy by his arm and neck. Wilson provided these photos of her son's injuries to the I-team. You have discussed with your client the maximum possible penalties and her rights. Macias stood quietly next to her attorney in front of a magistrate officially charged with child endangerment, a first-degree misdemeanor. The police report also says Macias told an investigator she's cared for children for 20 years and has never had anything like this happen. The report says, quote, Macias stated that the child in question has behavioral problems and was throwing things. She stated that she was trying to get him away from other kids and teachers and that he was fighting her the whole time. We asked Macias's attorney about the case today. He tells us he has nothing to say. I also reached out to the victim's mom. I'm still waiting to hear back from her. And a statement from Rainbow Child Care says, in part, the company has cooperated with authorities from the beginning and they self-reported this incident to the state. Hillary Lake, 9 on your side.